If you want a fast, mid-sized BMW, but think the M5 is just a little too much cabbage, then you'll want to take a look at this, the 2018 BMW M 550i. On the outside, the conservative lines will have your co-workers admiring your upscale but sensible choice. Ha! Under the hood is a twin-turbocharged V8 engine that pumps out 456 horses. Torque hits its maximum output of 480 pound-feet at a mere 1800 RPM. BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system is standard at this trim level, which should keep wheel spin to a minimum. Before we get into driving, let's take a closer look at some key features. Not just for minivans anymore, the M550i features a foot sensor to open the trunk. Trunk space is generous for the class. The second row fits a full-size adult with ease. The center fold-down features an overly complicated cup holder that does its job. Of course, both second row seats feature three stages of heating. But these features are just a tease compared to what is in store for the driver. This is what I'm talking about. This is a beautiful interior. You look at this wood inlay and the metal and even the plastics are extremely high quality. Though honestly, you would expect nothing less than a car this expensive with BMW on the nose. One thing that's really cool here is this display. It's the current style, which is a floating display. And it of course features BMW's iDrive system, which uses this principal knob to control things. But they've also introduced a new way to interface with your stereo. Ready? Turn it up, turn it down. That's right, it has gesture controls. Now, you can't do a lot with it currently. You can turn the radio up, you can turn the radio down, you can also set up a programmable setting. Uh, in this case, I have double stroke as a mute. So let's turn it up. And turn it to mute. And turn it to mute. And mute it, there we go. Okay, so it's not 100%. The camera views are very cool in this one. It has not only surround view, it also has radars on all sides and it gives you little alerts as to what's next to you, what's behind you and what's in your space. Um, it's a very intuitive and very fast system. And fast, I mean that it comes up quickly, it updates quickly. Some of these systems can be a bit sluggish. This one is not, they did not skimp on the CPU. And then there's the navigation which also uses advanced technology to make it easy to use. We'll go ahead and find the nearest Starbucks. It's as easy as writing with a finger. Select your option and away you go. It's almost as fast as searching on your mobile. To help you navigate parking lots, the M550i features an interactive surround view camera system. Not only can you select the various cameras individually, you can also use gesture control Oh, I can move it around using my hand. Oh, that's pretty wicked. To rotate the exterior view of your vehicle. Is it cool? Well, yeah. But is it perfect? Mm, not quite. Say you're holding your phone at a stoplight and you're like, oh, what's traffic looking like? Da, 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 da. Um, oh, it just did the gesture control. Okay, well, that is a bit of a problem. Then there is the gauge cluster. It's all digital, well, kind of. It's a combination of both physical inlays as well as a digital screen. It's a seamless mix between tradition and technology. I really like it, it's really quite cool. And when you go down here to change your adaptive transmission and engine setup, uh, you can click sport and it changes the dials to being red with a big drive mode indicator in there. You can go to comfort and of course you can go to eco pro. All very cool. The most aggressive drive mode, Sport Plus, gives a firmer ride, tightens up the steering, and provides maximum output through the drivetrain. This mode also opens up the exhaust valve to increase the volume of the exhaust note. It's more noticeable in the cabin than outside, thanks to some auditory tomfoolery. Yeah, they actually pipe the sound in through the speakers. Of course, the headline feature of this vehicle is the 456 horsepower twin turbocharged V8 under the hood. That engine is connected to an eight-speed automatic with, of course, paddle shifters for manual shifting. Now, if you don't like the paddles, you can, of course, go down here and shift it with the joystick, which is another alternative. Overall, they give you lots of options. They put you into an 
just immaculate interior. I think this is one of the best looking BMW interiors I've been in. Uh, overall, fantastic parking lot experience. But you don't buy a BMW 550i to enjoy it in a parking lot, unless you're drifting in a parking lot, but that's another story and another video. No, you do it because of the road manners. So let's take it out on the road and see how its manners are. The 550i starts at around $73,000. As you see it here with the executive package, the cold weather package, the parking package, and some other goodies, you're looking at close to $89,000. So is it worth it? Well, it's hard to find this level of performance and capability and frankly comfort at this price point. $89,000? Yeah it's actually totally worth it if this is the kind of car you want. I mean, it has a fantastic engine note. It drives amazing and it's all wheel drive. It has infrared cameras for night vision. Night vision! You wanna know the most mind blowing fact about this vehicle? In BMW's own testing, this 550i xDrive is faster than the outgoing M5, which is a rear wheel drive car, which is really fast. This car, faster. So how do they do it? Two key points. Number one, grip. This vehicle has all wheel drive, so you get better grip on launch. Number two, weight. Even with all wheel drive, this vehicle is 100 pounds lighter than the outgoing M5. There is one feature we haven't tried yet, and that is launch control. Now, I've read that this car has it, though I've never actually done it. Let's uh, take a look. We have transmission and sport plus for extra dynamic crunchiness. Um, I don't think there's anything else I have to do, but let's give it a try and see if it works. So moshing the gash, moshing the throttle. It's so stately in its acceleration, which is intoxicating. <laughs> that was awesome. It was uh, way more subtle than the GTR. The GTR uh, is kind of like a scalded cat when you go into launch control mode. This one, it's just a badass. It's just like, I will go fast, I will go fast, now. Even though this BMW 550i is the all-wheel drive xDrive model, that does not mean that it has that kind of wacky push that you often get in an all-wheel drive car. Uh, by push, I mean understeer. No, this one is actually a rear-wheel drive biased vehicle. It has a big burly V8 with twin scroll turbos, but that doesn't mean that it gets bad economy. Quite to the contrary, this vehicle actually gets 16 miles to the gallon in the city and 25 on the highway. On so many cars, I have complaints about the infotainment. Specifically, I was looking at that LC500, infotainment was Drek. This car actually has a lot of intelligent things to say about entertainment. iDrive finally makes sense. I have handwriting recognition when I want it. And it has like that night vision, which is really cool. It actually is night vision with pedestrian detection. That allows me to see people here before I can see them right here. That's kind of important. Of course, it has all the other safety tech you would expect. It has blind spot monitoring, it has collision detection and mitigation, rear cross traffic alert, it'll drive itself with adaptive cruise control and lane detection. In short, it is a technological marvel, this car.
next year we're scheduled to get a brand new M5. Now, if this car is any indication of where BMW is headed, that car is going to be amazing. For Driving Sports TV, I'm Ryan Douthit. Thanks for watching. And hey, don't just shut off and go to the next video. Be sure to subscribe right here to catch all the action. So smooth, so smooth, it's like butter. Butter, I say.